Hey guys, Zabuza here, bringing you an RU match today. Looking at my opponent's team, he's got a Tangrowth, Drudigan, uh, Manectric, Sandslash, Medicham, and Nidoqueen. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit more custom to this, so I can expect that Nidoqueen is going to be a sheer four set with uh, entry hazards, and that Drudigan is either defensive or... Well, I've really only seen the defensive variant. Uh, just from my own Tangrowth, I know that these things are very bulky physically. And the other three are pretty much a mystery to me. I mean, I know that Electric can run a choice scarf set, so maybe Manectric can too. Sandtrue is a good spinner, so maybe Sandslash is too. And Metadite is banned in Little Cup, so I have no idea what to expect from Metacham. So that's enough from me. Let's get to it. My opponent is KK, who I met on the Smogon Wi-Fi Battlefinder. I'm going to send out my Buzzard first turn as he sends out his Nidoqueen. Uh, first off, I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks. That's what um, Buzzard does in this team, unlike my Little Cup teams, as he's going to go for the Thunderbolt and get me down my Sash. But I actually modified this set recently, so guess what it has? Endeavor. That's right. So now I can uh, use Endeavor whenever I get down my Sash and then Quick Attack. I love it. Absolutely love it. You know, I actually got this idea from my last opponent, uh, he was afraid that I was using an Endeavor set, I'm like, huh, why don't I try that? Considering I have absolutely no, um, reason to be offensive with that Arch, or with the Archeops, I just thought, hey, why not go with the kind of a gimmicky set? Anyway, he knocks me out with a Rapid Spin, but I don't care, Hit not a lot of his team is weak towards Stealth Rocks anyway, so it just means I was able to get Endeavor as a Sand Slash. And I'm able to come in with my Herald, my Yuxi, and knock it out with a Psychic as he goes to his be like Mike, Manectric, and Choice Scarf. Trick me a Choice Scarf. And now that I know that, well, it is Choice Scarf, it's, uh, he's gonna go for the, uh, Volt Switch now. So I switch into my Jutigan, kind of expecting that. And I knew that it would be the best to resist it. As he goes into his own Jutigan, but I've got my Trick Room up now, which means I can go for the Outrage and knock it out. You see, the only bad thing is... I thought the only bad thing about this set is I find myself um, using Outrage more than actually taking advantage of Life Orb and Sheer Force. So I'm actually thinking about changing that. Uh, he sends out his Ramen Noodle, his Tangrowth, as uh, I'm forced to stay in with Outrage. And he puts me to sleep, which is fantastic because I can just Heal Bell it later. So here I'm going to pull back and go into my Tech Yo-Yo, my... Um, my, uh, oh god, was this? Clink Clang, there we go. As he goes for Swords Dance, interestingly enough, and I'm just gonna set up my uh, Trick Room again, not Stealth Rock, Trick Room again, because it had ended, and he's gonna go for Earthquake, and I didn't know that these things could run Earthquake. This is actually a new set that I've never encountered before, so it's very interesting to see how it runs. Uh, I set up my Trick Room, and now I don't care if Tech Yo Yo faints or not, he's done his job, and he goes for Power Whip, expecting the switch. And uh, I was going to switch, but I was going to Volt Switch out. So, good news there. Uh, I'm going to send in Shrimp and just go for X Scissor, but I get a critical hit, and I'm not sure if it mattered. I mean, I am Max Attack, Life Orb, and it was Stab Super Effective, but I'll have to run the Calcs because that uh, they are naturally bulky. Uh, he sends out his Be Like Mike, and he probably didn't know. I've got the Earthquake. I go for it. I get another crit, which this one definitely didn't matter. And now he sets out his Jet Leap. And I'm going to go for X-Scissor, and I'm thinking... I don't know if this thing... I find out later it's Scarfed, because the only way that um, it could outspeed my Yuxi when I bring it out now is if it was Scarfed, which is good, because if it was, then it can't sh uh, switch moves, and if it wasn't, i just go ahead and knock it out with Psychic anyway. So I knock it out, and that's going to be the end of the battle. Thanks for that battle, KK. Uh, sorry about the crits, man. Okay, so talk of the day. I originally had a message from a friend of mine, Mega Keldeo, but since I just found out about a certain airing on YouTube, or actually global, uh, I just gotta talk about it. So, what do you guys think is gonna be brought to Pokemon Generation 6? I don't know about you guys, but I really thought that uh, Pokemon X, the X Pokemon, I'm guessing it was a legendary, looked really cool. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link in the description. So yeah, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Tell me what you guys are expecting from this new generation. That's it for me. I hope you guys have a great day. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.